What is up, guys? This is Jitus. This is my second part to my three-part series. Sadly, Slightly Grim is sick today, so I talked to him. He said it's all good. I can keep going, so I'm going to do this one by myself, but by the third time, he should be okay, and we're going to do that one together. I do want to thank the 100 subscribers I've gotten. I don't want that to go unnoticed, so all you guys coming from Slightly Grim, I welcome you to my channel. I hope you enjoy your stay, and I hope you stay for a while. Now, I do want to just quickly address why I haven't been posting lately, and that's because of school, and I've been really busy with that. But if you guys do like my videos, comment down below and tell me what kind of videos you want to see more. I will be posting a lot more. So, again, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, and also check out Slightly Grim. I'm going to leave his channel in my description below, so do check that out. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so for the first trick, we are on presidential plan here. And it may seem quite simple, but most of you guys know already that glass can shoot through these windows. So you can see the bullet hole right there. But another trick is you can actually blow out these windows. So on the third hit, you break these. And now it's accessible to anyone. So you can see the pistol. It's obviously going through. And it can be shot out as well. So um, on a defender standpoint, you can't really tell when a window shot out. Like here, like if you'd look at all these three, you wouldn't tell the difference between these two. And then this one right, or sorry, this one right here. See, I didn't even tell the difference. So it's really hard for the defenders to tell. So if you're attacking into one of these two spawns and you have a glass, tell them to shoot out one of these windows right here. Then what I recommend is getting the black beard just to hold something like this. And then sometimes the defenders just sit around here and look through the windows just to sort of like know when you're pushing in, but they won't realize this is shot out. And then you can obviously just shoot in at him and he will die. But keep in mind, they can also shoot out. That's if they know. So it's sort of like a one and done trick. You just sort of open it, get one kill, and then the rest of the team will know that that's opened. So that's just an easy way to get one kill. All right, so for the second tip on this map, it kind of sounds cheesy but you can actually climb these ladders here with drones now this actually works with any sort of ladder in this game I'm just showing it specifically on this map because there is a lot of ladders here so um, just like that you can climb these ladders and get into any site I know you've probably seen this before but I just want to sort of mention it just because this map there's a lot of ladders you can see hanging around these areas so just so that if you didn't know there you go you can climb these drones and get you know up here and whatever um now since we're right here especially if we're attacking down into this uh cargo area the basement or bottom floor if you run up to this sort of like um sort of like things sticking out here if you walk straight up into it you'll get that repel logo so like you can see there's nothing here but if you walk right onto this you get that repel so here you can just sort of repel up and sort of hold the angle from here if you're trying to attack in here and then you get whoever to push into the site and you get a pretty good angle again I recommend Blackbeard for this just so that you have that sort of face shield I know we got nerfed but just in situations like this it really helps out now just keep in mind you are exposed from areas like the front or the side or right up here so the defenders can run out on you if they know what you're doing so you can sort of just like wheel down like this hide from all angles and then check out your drone you know maybe you see someone right here get off your drone then you can quickly peek back up and get that kill now if you haven't seen my pixel peeking video I recommend check that out I sort of just go through all these spots like this one right here and I actually show this exact same spot but basically right here is a really good defending spot uh, for when the attackers jump down through that hatch and you sort of just like watch it from here and you'll see them when they drop they'll like drop in this area and then when they run forward there's no way they're gonna see you through here so you just get the easy pick all right so when defending on this uh, bottom side cargo if you want to just go ahead and reinforce this wall sort of place a camera there reinforce this wall put another camera right here and then actually throw a nitro cell right here you'll pretty much be protected by all sides unless they have a thermite and you 
uh, obviously your team will be right over here, so there's no way you're going to get shot from this side. So if you just sort of hold here with a camera angle, you can see them when they push into either one of these doors, and when you see them walking through this hall down this side, switch over to this camera, and you'll see them right here. And the moment you sort of see them around this area, they normally like to walk into that little cubby off to the right, or left in this case. You just want them to pop out and sort of like shoot right here, or wherever, or wherever they are, of course, and you're going to get some pretty good kills that they won't see coming. So if you're defending uh, the spot up at the front of the plane, you want to go ahead and come up to the servers up here. Blow out this hatch that leads into kitchen, and you can actually just like lay down and create a small hole here. And you can be watching this camera right here that uh, leads downstairs, and this is the cockpit side. Of course, if this gets shot up, you can have a backup set up somewhere this side. And um, they're going to be coming through this cockpit area, and this hole, uh, this hole right here is really hard to see. So you can sort of just like go on your camera, come off when they come, and just get a really good shot on them. So this is just from another perspective. When the attackers are pushing in this side, obviously they don't see anything until they sort of like push right here. Then they'll see that hole. But that's not going to be what they're sort of concentrating at. Like most of the time, their gun's going to be in the way or whatever, and it's just so small to notice, and they're going to be focused on this area, and by then you can get the pick. And once you get your first pick, and maybe there's a second one there, and now they know where your spot is, you have this hatch open, so you can sort of just drop down and push back into sight where your teammates are. Now for my second last sort of tip uh, on this map, is coming to the very back of the plane on the top floor, and you want to be playing Valkyrie here with your cameras, and this hatch right here, you sort of want to throw a camera right out there, and here it is. It's going to be on this back uh, sort of tail, and it gets a view of the whole map, so you'll see all the spawns, and you can be getting like points for days, and they won't even know where this camera is, and it just sees everything, so obviously it's just for the outside, so once they push in, you're going to have to have some other cams set up, but this is just really good to get that initial knowledge of where they spawned at. Alright, so for my final tip, this is just coming out of this spawn. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's at the front of the plane on this side of the map. And this actually applies to any map. It's basically when there's a long sort of uh, ladder that goes down. A quick way of getting down is simply just by sort of falling off, and then grabbing it at the last second, and then you're already down here. And that takes just a matter of seconds rather than sliding all your way down. So that's just a quick way of getting down. Obviously, you don't want to uh, miss that timing. You will die if you don't, or get downed at least, so. Alright, so for this very first tip on Consulate, this is actually seen in ESL almost every time uh, they play on this map, and this is when you're attacking into the garage area. So you want to be sawn with a grenade or ash to charge, it has to be an explosive bucks. Uh, shotgun doesn't work here, so you just want to shoot right about here. This is going to blow right into the garage area, and you can see right here, this is where that garage wall is. And this is just an easy way of taking out all the bandits, or mutes, or whatever. And it's even better if the bandit doesn't realize you blew this, and he's trying to bandit trick. So you tell your thermite to go ahead and breach in, and as, your ban as the bandit's trying to put down his shock, you just shoot him down, and he's dead. And you can see here, it also looks into this corner, which is really good. So this spot right here is seen every single time you're attacking into the basement. So I highly recommend sort of just like to pick up on this spot. So this map in general doesn't have a lot of spots, but just for sort of like small cheeky things that you can do is in this tellers area, basically all of these like sections um, have little crawl spaces that you can go down into. If you're defending this and secure the area or whatever hostage, and you can just sort of like hide in these little areas, um, they're really hard to see. Especially if you try to like tuck your feet in the back. See how they're exposed like this? If you push off this right wall, they're sort of like in the back, and then you can get easier kills like this. It's really hard for them to see. And these are found like everywhere in the map. So, for example, just like over here in this main lounge, you can sort of like crawl under here, and get in little spots like this. 
and set up barricades or whatever when you're defending. So that'll help you out a lot. And just a short little tip before we end this map is if you're uh, holding this upstairs area, if the bombs are in this room and the room over there, you can just come along to the teller's area and sort of just like pop a hole here. And you'll be able to watch when they push up these stairs. Obviously it's really hard for them to see this because they're not going to be facing that direction. So they're going to be running up these stairs and you're going to be right here lying down getting the kill. Now sort of like a quick tip is you can make this easier by making a hole at the top and throwing a camera in between it. So as you can see here I just sort of threw it right in the middle of this hole I made. So when I go onto it, it can see both sides of all of Tellers and this side. So playing an ESL, you want to use your drones very effectively. And a great way of doing that is just keeping them alive in prep phase. So on this map bank, um, it's really good to just sort of like set up your drones in areas where they normally aren't seen and they can see uh, pretty visible things. So this is a really good spot that I've seen being played is right on top of this lamp and you can see sort of like the whole area here and most of the time they won't notice it or see it so it's just going to stay alive and then you can use it later now if you come up the main stairs here here's another good droning spot is just like jumping onto this here making your way to the edge jumping straight up and then here you go again this is another good, really good lamp spot this one actually sees into this area too in case anyone's hiding there this is another really good way of finding out where the defenders are and keeping your drone alive. So for the first defending spot, you sort of want to create some holes into this wall and this one right here. And this way you can be um, watching, here I gotta move this over just a bit. You can be watching into that server entrance right about here. So this is where they're gonna be walking through the server when they're attacking onto this site right here and normally these holes are always made here so they're gonna be looking for these and then you're gonna have sort of like a backup right here and you're gonna be really far back so it'd be hard for them to actually get the hit on you now for the next this might sound really simple but it's really effective so when the bombs are down here like so you just want to lie down behind the bomb and this sort of like netting or like the gating uh that goes around the bombs you can actually hide behind and you can still shoot through them and from a attacker's perspective, it's really hard for them to see. So like, you're just sort of hiding behind it and holding a really tight angle like this. And you just sort of wait for them to push that door. You can get a really good pick. It's really hard for me to sort of explain to you, but it's it's extremely hard because all like the s smoke, the gas or whatnot, it's always in the way. So it's not going to be like their first instinct to look down there. So for this final spot in bank, you want to be a defender and you have to be defending these two rooms, tellers and archives. So you want to come over here and sort of just like vault up and this bomb is going to prevent you from vaulting all the way over. Then you want to like sort of sprint into this area. It's really hard to get, but yeah, see like right there, once you get it, you sort of want to walk in the middle of this. Then you can get a really good angle through here. This is through the front uh, doors or over under the staircase or off the staircase or just in this area in general. And actually you can reinforce this just to make it a little more safer. And you can still see over this so you'll be protected. So for the first spot, if you're playing hostage or secure the area and the uh, area just so happens to be in the basement in the boat room you want to take buck or ash just open this up here and then repel up to the side and if this is going to be reinforced right so it's going to be reinforced about to this level right about here so you still have this gap up here that you're going to be able to look down through and see any defenders who are holding into this room now, if you're defending boat room, another spot is just vaulting up onto this and then going to this red corner and sort of looking down about here. Then you can just vault up here, then sort of like a lay down and just face right here and watch these entrances and get really good picks. They're not going to be expecting anyone sitting up here because it's not really head level 
and it's sort of just out of nowhere, so you can get a really good kill there. Now uh, another quick uh, tip that you see in ESL a lot is when you're attacking into servers and control room, which is top floor. And I'm in um, model room right here. And if you have someone with a nade or ash, ash is easier. You sort of just run into security, look up, and shoot right here. This will um, break any sort of like mute devices or bandit charges that are placed on this wall. And it'll just be open for the thermite to breach through this pillbox area and get right into the site. Now this is another tip that some of you guys might not know, but basically these monitors back here can be shot through uh, anywhere. So you can see here that the shots are going through and that that literally applies anywhere. So um, if someone's playing back here or he's crouching or lying down and you're kind of pissed off because you can't get him because you're standing this side, and you're like, well, if this guy just like sort of peeks up for a second, he might get the kill on me. Just don't worry, just start spraying. Like you're gonna get the kill on him, and you'll drop him down before he can even see you. Now to close out this video today, I just want to show you this last little tip for all you Valkyrie players out there. Now if you're controlling or defending these two areas here, you can sort of open this uh, window here, and throw a camera right out here onto that uh, satellite dish and this looks into that outside pillbox area when the thermite breaches you'll see the roofs on both sides and obviously down this area that's really good I've seen that a lot in ESL and for the second camera placement I sort of just want to open this window here and throw that camera right up here it takes a lot of practice I'm actually surprised I got that on my first go but anyway this sort of like sees all this side you'll see the construction spawn and the floating dock spawn here and you see all of the rest of the outside the roofs and stuff like that so that's really good too and then of course support it up again and that about wraps up the video for today guys i know that was super long but it just so happened to be like that i didn't actually mean for it to be that long but again if you've made it to the end of the video i want to thank you so much I'm truly thankful for that. You guys are my true supporters. But if you did like the video, leave that like and comment down below how you felt and how I could improve in the future and any other video suggestions. I'm really open for anything right now. And if you're new, do subscribe. I'm going to be posting a lot more if you liked it. So thank you all and I'll see you next time.